not executing any heuristic. I will run the standard heuristic. Okay. okay. Run the product heuristic and run. So system has scheduled it on second version that was expected. Okay, what you will see here, go to the pegging overview. So pegging is important when you are uh, studying, when you are doing planning with uh, uh, PPDS. Okay. So what is basically pegging? Pegging basically give you the traceability with your uh, what with your receipt element and requirement element. Okay. Pegging. So you will see. Suppose there is a sales order. Okay. And that sales order will be having a finished good. That finished good will be linked with your SFG, and that SFG will be linked with your raw material. Okay. So this there is a pegging relationship. So this relationship called pegging, like because it is your one requirement is pegged to your uh, receipt element. Sales order is what is your requirement. Okay, the dependent element is your FG. Then FG having a plan order, that plan order will be having a dependent requirement, right? Like it is a SFG. So SFG again, it's a uh, receipt element. Okay, so pegging what it does, it shows the relationship between all of these. Okay, it is pegged to this. If suppose your sales order date change, so your whole planning will get changed, right? So it's a it's a one to one relationship when you have a pegging relationship. So that linking that traceability that is called pegging. So it is majorly it is into make to order scenario. Okay, so it is it is pegging relationship. So in if you see there is a two types of pegging. First is your dynamic pegging. Second is your fixed pegging. Okay, fixed pegging. Fixed pegging means like let me explain you this. Fixed pegging. Just let me connect this. <clears throat> okay, fixed pegging. Fixed pegging means you having a requirement here. Okay, this is your requirement. And this is your pegging. Like 120 is your requirement or 200 is your 300 is your finished good requirement. Okay. And this requirement will be packed to your SFG material. This is your SFG material. Okay, like 120 and this is 300. Means if your planning change, suppose uh, just delete it. Okay, just let me do it. Okay, if your planning change, suppose it's a day one, day one, and it's a day two, and it's a day three. If your planning shifted to the day two, okay, then your this planning will also get changed. Okay, okay, this planning. This is a fixed pegging, right? You cannot change it. So, what is the benefit of fixed packing that you have the traceability but what is the uh, like what is the disadvantage part that it is you cannot change it okay you cannot change it but there is a dynamic packing and fixed packing also lead to surplus of inventory okay i will tell you show you what is a surplus dynamic packing so now suppose you having a requirement here of 120 or you having a requirement on day three that is a 300 and here you have a requirement of uh, suppose uh, 130 so total requirement is what it is 550 requirement okay so what will happen you have sfg available okay there you have sfg here you have sfg and here you also have the sfg sfg is what it is a 130 120 and a 300 so what will happen these sfg will immediately not suppose not like this you have here 250 or here you have whatever the total requirement 550 250 and here you have 330 now these two will get packed to this right and suppose there is a change in your plan change in your plan then what will happen suppose it's it's become 600 or 400 then again what system will do system will create a one more plan order for remaining quantity and what is the remaining quantity 100 okay this is this is flexible like okay. system does not hold anything it it basically plan based on what is the 
frequent change and it will directly consume your like uh, which is the closest receipt element okay closest receipt or inventory now you can have suppose this is this you can also have a invent requirement here of 100 quantity okay 150 quantity that it and you have inventory available here or you have a receipt element available here that system will consume it from this and will create a one more plan order for the 10 quantity and suppose this gets changed tomorrow this is 100 then again system will delete this plan order and will get consume it from here okay, okay so this is this is a dynamic pack it is a frequently it is very flexible and it's consume your whatever is the closest uh, receipt element available okay but it does not show your this pegging relationship okay and there is a one more pegging that is called concurrent pegging okay what it does basically okay what it does basically you have sfgs this is this is your fg okay this is your finished good requirement and you have SFG here. This is SFG, SFG1, SFG2, SFG3, SFG4. Okay, so concurrent pegging, what it does, like it does not wait for your uh, to get finished, right? Suppose this is, this is here, and this is here, and this is here. So this is my finished good. Okay, this is my finished good. So this is my starting point okay so from here i will start producing but in a concurrent pegging i will not be waiting ki mera ye pehle ye order khatam ho jaye samajh rahe ho then i will start it no Parallel since process. starting it will consume this is this it will get packed to all these initial uh, receipt element or jo bhi available hai theek hmm. hai uh, because it's it's need a initial inventory to mere ko mil raha na yahan pe start karne ke liye then it will get started so concurrent pegging also having a two thing like uh, timely uh, or timely receipt element or like uh, what it says. Uh, I just don't remember the name. Just let me check it. I'll go to the product master. Go to this uh, lot size. Okay. Sorry. It's a lot size go to the pegging so it is called pegging procedure and it is called use earliest receipt and first in first out okay so that is the also strategy that you have with the concurrent pegging okay so basically like this is F sfg that you are going to start it your sfg material here okay on the day one but on the day one you will not wait ki aapka pehle sara sfg khatam ho jai, then you will start it no you can start it with your minimum or available inventory okay so that is that is called concurrent packing so come to uh, e, uh, your ppda system and go back okay so you will see that uh, if i run the product planning that system create a plan order and double click on this double click on this plan order or go to this packing overview so you will see all it is a dynamic packing all it is a dynamic packing if my requirement change okay if my requirement change if it is become uh, sorry 300 400 as save it and create a production or purchase or plan order so it's a 400 it's a dynamic packing okay it will keep changing and if i go again and change my plan like 500 okay and run the planning so it will create a plan order for 500 because it is it is dynamic right so what if i do i say okay my fixed pegging is 200 i am saying the 200 is my fixed okay and save it come back to your elements and run that planning again so you will see that system has not done any change here there you go system has created a one more element one more for element. your plan order Okay, so this is happen when you have a fixed pegging, when you are using fixed pegging. And what I have done here, I have manually changes. Now you see, now suppose the requirement that I say it is a 600. Okay, now sit enter. Now you will see that there is a no change. Okay, there is a no change that there is a different 
plan order for 400 quantity okay so basically what happens and if you go here and if you delete it okay and now go to this so fix pegging basically uh, just let me go to select it and go to the pegging overview okay so what i have done i have manually changed it but if you want to fix the, your all your receipt element or your plan order so that you can do it by heuristic also like go to back okay go back and execute because you have a 500 plan and but it is not a, a fixed bagging it is a dynamic, dynamic. Uh, let me delete it okay and save it so it is a dynamic bagging okay not a fixed bagging so what you do you go to the variable heuristic and run it so you say fixed bagging relationship create a mm -hmm. fixed bagging relationship and select it and run okay so what will happen system will create a fixed bagging relationship now go here and double click and system will fix it they going up a dynamic pegging is zero fixed pegging is 500 Five. and you can see how it is packed so you can see the packing type key packing type con con sa packing type there is a packing type e that is a automatically fixed packing relationship so it was done by the heuristic if you change it manually then it will be the manual packing relationship okay if it is a dynamic then it will be the d so if you see okay i have changing it to 100 so you will see it will become c c means it is a combined, combined tagging relationship that com combine of a, there is a dynamic 400 and 500 is your tagging fixed tagging okay now you come back now you come back and you say okay the requirement is 50 and you run the planning okay just a minute like uh, fix packing okay i will check there is a one thing that i wanted to explain you but i need to check okay so this is the way that system will do it through the heuristic that it will completely pack your what completely pack your all the requirement as a fixed packing but you can also delete those packing suppose that uh, uh, like go to that uh, just enter in this 400 okay and run the product heuristic so you will be having a one plan of 350 because 50 you have already packed right now you want to delete that packing automatically like go select it and go to packing overview so you are seeing there is a 100 is already fixed packing okay mm. but now you want to delete it so if you delete one by one packing relationship then it will take so much time but there is a heuristic available for that also. Okay. What heuristic? Just let me check if it is still there. Okay. It is still there. Now go to this variable heuristic. Okay. Now you will see there is a delete fix packing relationship. Right. What it will do? It will delete your packing relationship. Click here on the execute button. Okay. It has been deleted. Now you will see. Now there is only one plan order. Right. That your okay but it has not deleted it run the product heuristic okay now go to the variable heuristic and run your delete fix packing relationship coming to this and go to the need to see why it has not deleted it There is a delete fix pegging automatically pegging relationship okay it is deleted see what happened here because that pegging i have to select go to the variable heuristic go to the pegging and you have to tell okay which pegging you want to delete Jo hmm. manually system se plan hui hai, jo automatic plan hui hai, dono combines hai. so because what i have done i have manually changed it right hmm. so that i want to delete manual packing relations combined manual combined packing relations so, so that has been deleted now so you will be having two plan order and if this tomorrow get changed now it is completely dynamic and create a plan order now you will see there will be the only one plan order because your fixed packing relationship is deleted deleted now if you go 
and say, okay, fix my paggings. Fix pegging relationship, execute. So all your pegging has been Activated. fixed. Okay, so it is currently 600 is fixed. Now your requirement change. Now your requirement change, it change up to 1000. Okay, and run planning. So now you will see there will be the one plan order because 600 is you have already fixed. Okay, so what you need, uh, because that, because remaining is dynamic. Now what you need to do now, you will see it is a fixed pegging and that pegging <coughs> type is A. A means it is an automatic pegging. Okay, now you can go without doing anything. Just go here and delete fixed pegging relationship. Delete pegging. And by default, it is an automatic fixed pegging. Okay. And it is deleted. Now you will see that for 1000 is a fixed pegging. Now you run a heuristic, standard heuristic. There will be the one plan order for the heuristic. So basically what happens with fixed pegging now, so that it generates some surpluses. You can have requirement if you freeze that plan. Okay, if you, the change in, if there is a change in plan that you will never know, but you can set up alerts for that. Okay. So if your requirement is 1000 and system has generated a plan for 1200, like means you are, you are access with 200 quantity, correct? Right. So. In that case, what you will do because individual plan, individual order, you cannot go and check it. So in that case, you can set up alerts. Okay, so that will help you to get the reports. Okay, where you have surplus, where you have less. Yes. Just a minute. Okay, so I think आज के लिए इतना रखते हैं, है ना? And tomorrow we will connect and we will do the remaining.